Hey girlies, it's Tammy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I just wanted to get glam with you guys. I want to do a full face drugstore, just like a soft glam tutorial. I feel like I've been doing a lot of colour. I haven't done a neutral look in forever. So yeah. So for primer, of course, you guys know my favourite, one of my favourite drugstore primers, Barry M Skin Blurring Elixir. You guys see how I have this natural glow going on and large pores and all of that stuff. So I want to like minimise all of that and this primer does that. I think this is nearly finished you know i need to get another one yeah like nothing's coming out no oh, okay i'm gonna have to use whatever is on the spatula because this is literally finished just gonna take a brush and blend that in if you do have large pores and texture and everything this is definitely the primer for you so for foundation i've actually pulled out my maybelline fit me foundation in the shade 330 this is the matte and poreless one but i don't find that it's matte it's actually quite a not dewy but more like a skin like type of finish compared to like the maybelline superstay but i just love oh, and this shade is so much better for me than the Superstay foundation because it's more of like a neutral undertone. The Superstay foundation is definitely more of a warm orange undertone, but for the winter, I definitely prefer this formulation because the Superstay is too matte for my skin during the winter. It is like four o'clock in the afternoon and these birds are still chirping, just like, give it a rest, please. So because my eye look is not going to be anything dramatic, I'm going to do my eyes after my face. So I'm going to move on to concealer. I've pulled out my collection Last Imperfection Concealer because I forgot how I feel about this. So I want to try it again. They say it's smudge proof, budge proof and transfer proof. I think this concealer is like £3.50. Something really, really affordable. The shade that I'm using is praline 13 so i'm just gonna go ahead it's quite a thin watery concealer but i feel like it still packs a punch in terms of coverage but it's not the most full coverage it's not as full coverage as like revolution conceal and define but i think if i just give it a minute to settle down it might like you know give more coverage so i'm gonna go in with the revolution foundation stick in f 16 just to cream contour a little bit i also want to take the elf putty blusher but after i do my concealer Okay, so now I'm gonna take my sponge and blend in this concealer. You see the coverage, it's like dried down a little bit more. So the coverage should definitely not get sucked up into the sponge. That's actually looking like a really nice concealer, I like the coverage and the shade. I don't know why I don't reach for this more. I think in my head it just wasn't full coverage, but it definitely is. I should use it a bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that all in place and I'm gonna, oh wait, first Elf Putty Blush, I almost forgot. The last time I had to put this on after powder because I forgot, but this is a different shade. This is like a orangey red type of shade. It doesn't have the names on the back, so I don't know what color it is. So yeah, I'm gonna take some of that product on a brush. Last time someone asked me what brush this is, this is by the brand Copycat Beauty. Do you guys remember that brand? It's just like a thick, dense kabuki brush that you can kind of find anywhere. I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp that all over my cheek. This is such a cute rosy color. I am kind of putting a lot because of course I'm gonna go over it with powder. So I want it to still be seen through the powder. I'm gonna use the Revlon Candid powder that I tried recently. When I try things, I like to kind of try them for a little while just to make sure that I do actually really like them and it wasn't like a fluke that one time that I tried it. The last time I tried this, I got a lot of questions if it gave me flashback and I don't really use flash photography. So I don't know, but someone did say that the translucent one did give them flashback. But of course I haven't, you know, tried it with the banana shade but just bear that in mind gorgeous and then for the rest of my face i've pulled out this la girl pro face high definition matte press powder in the shade warm caramel normally i would use my charlotte tilbury powder you guys know but of course that's not drugstore so let's go ahead and try this and i'm going to use this to kind of set the rest of my face even on top of the blusher can't complain at all it's looking really nice i think for once in my life because i haven't done it in so long and i really want to go for a glam glam look today i'm gonna bake i don't know how this is gonna go but i'm gonna press the powder underneath my eyes i just find that this gives you the really glam glam look we are baking oh my gosh i haven't done this in forever now for bronzer i'm gonna take one of my favorite drugstore bronzers which is the sleek damn bronzer and it looks like this it has like a really nice sheen running through it and i just find that it glides over the skin and warms up the skin beautifully and the sheen is not like super noticeable on the skin 
Okay, so at this stage, let's go ahead and move on to eyes. I'm gonna take the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base. I think this is like a Peel and Weaves dupe and this is the shade Medium. Like I said, I'm not doing anything too dramatic on the eyes, gonna keep it neutral. I know I've said that plenty of times and then all of a sudden turned out with a blue eyeshadow look, but I mean it this time, guys, neutral. So the palette that I'm gonna use today is the Revolution Hot Dog Palette, which made it into my top 2020 eyeshadow palettes because of these gorgeous neutrals in here. I'm gonna give you guys a close up. Do you guys see what I mean about the beautiful neutral shades in here? How stunning. So the first shade I'm gonna take is the shade Barbecue, which is this kind of neutral brown over here. And I'm gonna start that into the outer V. Look how pigmented, honestly. So I'm just dent gently gently buffing that into the crease and look how beautifully it blends out so next i'm going to dip into the gorgeous mustardy type of what would you call this olive skin tone color which is called sauce and this one is going to go into the crease to blend that out If you do also have my Tropical Twilight palette, you can recreate this look with uh, the shades in there because the neutrals that I have in there are kind of similar. Just using that as my crease transition color. Then I'm gonna go back to Barbecue, the first shade, and build that up on the outer V, but not too much because I don't want it to turn super dark and smoky. Should I do an all matte eye look? The last time I said do a matte look and then I went in with a lip gloss on my lips, I got told off, so. I had to be very specific, an all matte eye look. <laughs> yeah, I might do that. And then a shimmer on the inner corner. Would that still class as an all matte eye look? Anyways, I'm taking that yellowy shade all over the lid. And then I'm just gonna go back and forth between the two shades until I'm happy with the blend. I love these type of caramel olivey shades on my skin tone. You could, of course, deepen it if you wanted to with that dark uh, matte in there, but I'm gonna leave it like this because I want it to be neutral. I'm gonna take Banger on the inner corner, which is this gold shade. Just a little bit to brighten that inner corner. So now what I'm gonna do is dust away this excess powder. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my fake beauty spots to kind of cover any acne scars still showing through. So I'm gonna do one there, one on my nose. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. dewy setting spray and set my face. Oh God, the sprayer on this is no joke. I'm gonna pop some lashes on and then I'll come back and we can finish with lips. Okay, so lashes are on, let's go ahead and move on to lips. So I have these products from NYX, they're basically all lip liners. Well, this one's a lipstick, but it's in a pencil form, so I've just kind of put it in the lip liner section. I don't know which one. Let's try this one, because I haven't used this one before. This is by NYX, they're all by NYX. This is the Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and Definite Turn On, my God, that is a long name, Waterproof Extreme Lip Color in the shade Urban Cafe. So yeah, it's like a dark brown, warm tone brown color. Oh wow, that glides nicely. That's very creamy. What? Look at that. That glided on so nicely. It's very warm tone. I do want something a little bit cooler just because I find that with warm tone colors like this, when you mix it with a lipstick, it turns it so warm red. So I got this in the post recently. This is the Technic Cashmere Matte Lip Cream and this gorgeous nude is called, don't see a name, Bear. <laughs> Pretty simple. So yeah, let's go ahead and try Bear. Oh, this color is right up my street beautiful peachy nude look at that lip combo oh it's drying down this formula is really nice so far it's not sticky i thought it was just like a lip cream oh matte lip cream duh so it's like a liquid lipstick but that formula is really nice it's not sticky at all and it's dried down beautifully i do want to top it with a gloss because you know me if it was up to me i would top it with a clear gloss that's just my personal preference but because you guys always ask me to do something different i'm gonna leave it matte I also wanted to finish off with a little bit of highlights. So this is the Maybelline Face Studio Chrome Extreme. I think I bought this from Superdrug for like $8.99 or something. Really gorgeous gold, molten gold, I think it's called, yeah. Just kind of doing it in a C shape from the corner of my eye down to my cheekbone. And then one last spritz with the e.l.f. Dewy Setting Spray. The very aggressive setting spray. Thank God I found a good and good 
okay guys so here is the finished look what do you think natural well very glam but like a natural neutral glam i should say neutral glam rather than natural because nothing about this beat is natural honey <laughs> But yeah, it's been so long since I've done like a neutral glam like this and I feel really pretty in this type of makeup. I feel like when I do my colourful looks, I feel like a piece of art. I feel like a masterpiece and I feel amazing. But with this type of makeup, I feel like I'm perfected. Like I'm myself, but perfected. If you know what I mean, if that makes any sense. It's all drugstore, which we love. It's been a while since I've done a drugstore tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want like a high end version because I know some of you girlies do enjoy a little bit of luxury. But um, yeah. Yeah, that is it for today's video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it make sure you're subscribed to my channel and i'll catch you in my next one take care bye